Um, what's this one here? Uh, Pilgrim's oh, Pilgrim's Path. Path. Pilgrim's Path by John Robinson. I like this one too. It's kind of on the same uh, level. Most of these on the beginner aspects are on the same level. There are tons of different books that I would recommend to different people on different subjects. We will give more videos on specific books as well because I have a lot of buddies that write books. People, anybody can write a book on Freemasonry and get it published. Some are good, some are bad, some are credible, some are um, beneficial, some are detrimental. So what I'm trying to do is give you an idea, especially when you're first starting out, to learn about Freemasonry. And these are nice, easy reads. They're not too heady. They're not too complicated. Um, this one's pretty famous, Born in Blood. You can pick this up at just about any Barnes & Noble. This is a, a fairly decent early on introduction to Freemasonry and the different aspects of Freemasonry. What makes them good beginners? I think the, the wording is really easy. They don't get really in depth in any kind of technical Masonic jargon, which there can be. You get into symbolism it's and not ritual as and like, clunky as some <laughs> of the stuff. Okay. These are these are like layman reads. I mean, we'll talk about Albert Pike. That's not a, really a layman read. Sure, you have to kind yeah. of step your game up a little bit you have to, to read up. Large Pike. base knowledge to be able to then go forward. <laughs> yeah.